Now, Year 12 student Will Shackle, you've met before. Met before. He's founder of Nuclear for Australia, and he joins me again. Good to talk to you again, Will. Um, look, we like to think we've been leading the nuclear charge on this station, on this show, and with my documentary and whatever. But you, in particular, on behalf of younger Australians, have made this your mission... And you're getting a lot of people signing your petitions to get rid of the mm. laws prohibiting nuclear energy. You must be so pleased to see that more than half of the country and a much bigger percentage of your own age cohort are actually on board. Well, no, it's incredibly exciting to see the results today, but it's, not, it's no surprise because we've known for a very, very long time that... A majority of Australians support nuclear energy, whether it was the various polls that ABC conducted, the polls in years passed by majority, uh, many, many organisations. So I think today just confirmed what we knew all along, which was that a majority of Australians support nuclear energy. And I think given that it's now on the politicians to realise that a majority of their constituents actually support it and therefore they should consider supporting it too. I think another really key takeaway from that poll was that a majority of voters representing all major political parties actually support nuclear energy, whether it's the Liberals, the voters for the Liberal Party, the voters for Labor or the voters for the Greens even. So it's on all of those politicians, regardless of their political colours, to step up, realise and look at what their, what their constituents are saying, look at the science and to embrace nuclear energy. Yeah, I think that's the pleasing aspect of this. There's all sorts of reasons for people of all sorts of political persuasions to support nuclear energy. Of course, there'll be people sceptical about the whole climate change issue and efforts to address it. Mm. They just want reliable power. But a, a lot of Greens, both here, incre increasingly across, according to these polls in Australia, but as we know in Europe and elsewhere, understand they're so agitated about climate change and the need to reduce emissions, they know that nuclear is the only provable way to re give us reliable energy that is carbon emission free. Well, look, the ultimate litmus test as to whether a politician really does care about acting on climate is whether or not they support lifting the bans on nuclear power because we know that nuclear energy is zero carbon. It has zero emissions and it is one of the cleanest sources of energy possibly available to us. So if they're not even willing to support our efforts to lift the bans on nuclear energy and to have an all-of-the-above approach where we're able to have all clean energy options, then those politicians are not genuine, genuinely serious about acting on climate change. If, if, you know, politicians did step up and supported our efforts to lift the bans, that would actually show that they cared, and not only that they cared about acting on climate change, but they also cared about, you know, increasing our energy security, making sure the lights stayed on, lowering energy bills, and all of that is really, really important to my generation as we grow up, making sure that we have clean, reliable electricity is really, really important. And I really fear that without nuclear power, we're not going to be able to see that in Australia. Spot on, Will. Thanks for joining us. Congratulations on your work and uh, keep going. Will Shackle there, who's Thanks been uh, running these petitions to try and get these laws changed. I'm certain the coalition will go to the next election promising to repeal these bans on uh, nuclear energy at the very least but we've got to make sure they get through Parliament. And it's about time Labor and the Greens started getting serious about this too.